Hello everyone, welcome to Macroeconomics. My name is Julie Russell and I'll be your teacher for this semester. I'm looking forward to having you in my class. I love teaching economics. I've been teaching at TCC for about 20 years and I just really enjoy what I do and I hope you'll enjoy studying economics with me as well. So this is an overview of our Blackboard page. I just wanted to quickly go over it with you. If you have any trouble finding it, it's www.my.tccd.edu. If you have trouble logging in, call 817-515-4357 for the TCC Help Desk. Once you click on your economics page, this is the page you'll see. Notice you come in at announcements. Please read the announcements and check your TCC email daily. It's my best way to communicate with you. And then notice that you have an orientation page. That's where I want you to begin. Please read that document carefully. Once you've read the document, you're ready to take your orientation quiz. The orientation quiz is located under the assignment slash homework tab. When you click that tab and click on orientation, it's going to launch you to the McGraw-Hill Connect website. The very first time you do that, you're going to be prompted to enter a username and a password. And if you haven't signed up for a TCC Plus class, then you'll need to enter credit card information to pay for your materials. TCC Plus students have already paid for it with registration. Um, once you're into that software, you'll complete your orientation quiz and be ready to start your lessons. First, look at your syllabus and see how your grade's going to be determined. Your syllabus will tell you how much homework or exams, etc., all of your assignments are worth and how your grade is calculated. And then come back to this page and print out that course due dates, the schedule of due dates. You know today the due dates for every assignment you're going to have this semester. So it's really important that you put those dates in a planner or put that piece of paper up on the refrigerator, whatever will remind you exactly what's due each week. You have your lessons tab. I have recorded a PowerPoint video, much like this one, but for every chapter that we cover. In addition, I've uploaded the PowerPoint notes pages for you. If you have access to a printer, you might want to print those and have them next to you when you're watching the videos. It's a great way to keep all of your notes in one, page, in one place. Once you've listened to those uh, lecture videos and taken good notes, you're ready to go to that assignments tab again. Do your chapter one assignments. There are two assignments for every chapter. You have your homework assignment and a smart book assignment. The smart book assignments, what I would do first because it walks you through the textbook reading. And yes, that's for grades, so you need to do those. Your second assignment is a homework assignment, and that looks more of a traditional homework assignment, what you're used to it looking like. Um, let's see. One of the things I want to really point out is the discussion board. If you get stuck in a homework assignment, and there's, you know, it's so hard because you're in a you're not around in a class at that moment, a real face-to-face -face class where you can raise your hand, then using the discussion board substitutes for that. Just take a screenshot of your homework and upload it to your discussion board post. Uh, I will help answer questions and all of your classmates will help. It's part of your grade. You must upload at least one question or, or ask a question. You don't have to upload a screenshot. But everybody has questions, so I'm requiring that you upload or ask at least one question to the discussion board uh, per unit, not per chapter, but per unit, and that you answer at least one other student's question. So wait till a student asks a question that you feel fairly confident with and then answer their question, give them information where they can find that answer in the textbook or in the PowerPoint video but give them information that helps them answer their questions so they'll be more prepared for the exams. So before each exam, there's an extra credit assignment. I don't want you to miss that. The extra credit does give you extra credit, but it also gives you an advanced look at all of the, an advanced look at what the test questions will look like. Make sure that you can answer all those extra credit questions. They're not timed, that assignment is not timed. Um, 
and you can come in and out of it. So you can't do that with a test. Once you start a test, you have to be looking at your camera. It's their proctored exams. So it's important that you make sure you can do those extra credit problems. So print them out if you want. Take screenshots. It's the only way you can print. But go back and study and figure out how to answer those questions because those type of questions are going to be on the exam. I don't want you to miss them. So you've done your extra credit. You're ready for your exam. So you see that tab at the left-hand menu. There's an exam. So there'll be one for each of the units. And then there's a comprehensive exam at the end of the course. Notice this says op optional. You don't have to take the comprehensive exam. If you take all of the other four unit exams and you do well on them, then you don't have to take the comprehensive. But if you miss an exam or you do poorly on an exam, you want to take that optional comprehensive and it will replace the zero that you got for the exam or um, the low score that might have happened. You can check your grades all the time in the course and stay very up to date. Every time you do an assignment, your grade will populate. So I want you to always know what your current average is in the class so you can tell that. Please post all your questions in the discussion board. Email me if you have any issues or concerns, julie.russell at tccd.edu or julie.russell at my.tccd.edu. Either one works. I want to hear from you. I want to help you be successful in the class. I know we can do this, but we do it better when we do it together. Have a great semester.